The impact of COVID on our hospital system is already being felt. Victorian doctors warning life-saving heart and cancer treatments are being delayed at the moment. Professor Grant MacArthur co-chairs the Victorian COVID-19 Cancer Task Force and I'm pleased to say he joins me now. Professor, first of all, what impact are you seeing on the health system right now? Well, there's no doubt that the health system is currently under pressure. We're coping at the moment in terms of urgent cancer operations are being undertaken. However, there are concerns that with further surges in cases and hospitalisations for COVID that the system will be under pressure. And, and what types of cancer surgeries are you worried about being delayed? So we have estimated that there is unfortunately up to 3,000 delayed cancer diagnoses since the start of the pandemic in Victoria alone. Wow. And that is predominantly the most common cancers. So prostate cancer, melanoma, breast cancer and colorectal cancer, but some others as well. So basically across the board, except for lung cancer, we've seen significant delays in diagnoses, cancer cases that we're expecting to see that have not come through. And so therefore those cases will eventually come through in the months ahead and will put our health system under pressure. So it's so important for people to get diagnosed early, get their cancer screening tests done, get to their GPs with any symptoms because you know, cancer care doesn't stop, but we want people not to delay getting investigated for what might be a cancer. And as you say, if diagnosis is delayed, treatment is delayed, and no doubt then the outcome uh, could be potentially a lot worse. Our concerns are that with delayed in cancer diagnoses, the cancers will be diagnosed at a larger size, a higher stage, with worse outcomes for patients. So, so important to get to your GP, get your cancer screening tests done as usual. And the elective surgery uh, waiting list, that's blown out as well, hasn't it? Yes, unfortunately, because of the pandemic, the elective surgery waiting lists uh, have increased. We've been able to maintain the urgent so-called Category 1 cancer surgery in our hospitals, which is good news, and we're very much uh, anticipating we'll be able to continue that as a greater surge of cases come. But again, what's most important is, please, we don't want people getting their cancers diagnosed because they'll get worse outcomes. So, so you are on this COVID cancer task force. What are the discussions that you're having right now about what can be done about this? So what our discussions at the moment, they're continuing to monitor uh, cancer diagnoses and the rates of cancer diagnoses across the community. We talk a lot about vaccination. Vaccination is so important. It's important for the vulnerable in our community, patients with cancer and other uh, medical diagnoses that get worse outcomes if they're diagnosed uh, with COVID-19. So COVID-19, one in four patients with cancer overseas have passed on, have died if they acquire COVID. So vaccination is absolutely vital. Vaccination is safe and it is highly effective at preventing hospitalisation and severe disease. So it's vitally important that cancer patients, but also the whole community, we've got to look after each other. We've got to look after the vulnerable who are at such high risk of bad outcomes if they get COVID. All of us need to get vaccinated and vaccinated as soon as possible. And if you had to estimate, how many Victorians do you think are walking around right now with cancer but, but don't know it? So we anticipate that there are many hundreds of Victorians, up to a total of 3,000 walking around with a cancer that has not been diagnosed as a result of the pandemic. So it's vital that people get diagnosed, get to their GP with any symptoms and get their cancer screening tests done. Yeah, it's an excellent message to get out there. Professor, we really appreciate your time and thanks so much for all the work that you do. Thank you, Alicia. P pleasure to be with you today.